The arrival of the wanderer. The arrival of the wanderer. The wanderer has returned. Returned brighter, clearer, and more hauntingly beautiful than anything humanity has ever seen. The James Webb Space Telescope, our golden iris hanging weightlessly in the infinite dark, has turned its gaze once again toward the unknown. And what it has revealed is already reshaping humanity's understanding of creation, time, and the fragile place we occupy within the cosmos. For the first time in human history, our species has glimpsed an extraordinary traveler known as Three-Eyed Atlas. A solitary voyager drifting slowly, steadily, and deliberately along the frozen frontier of our solar system. A relic of impossible age, carried across billions of kilometers of silent cosmic ocean. A survivor from a distant star system whose light may have died long before humans learned to walk upright. Three-Eyed Atlas is only the third confirmed interstellar visitor ever discovered. It follows after Oumuamua and Comet Borisov, brief, enigmatic strangers who slip through our part of the galaxy like whispers of forgotten worlds. But this wanderer is not like them. Not fleeting. Not blurry. Not evasive. Where those earlier visitors were streaks of mystery that vanished almost as soon as they appeared, this one lingers with astonishing clarity. Its form is etched with scars, with history, with unspoken secrets carved by time itself. This is no accidental blur. No cosmic trick. No misinterpreted burst of sensor noise. This is a portrait, vivid, intricate, layered with the memory of a billion-year journey across the interstellar deep. It has witnessed the birth and death of stars. It has watched young worlds ignite in fire, cool into quiet stone, freeze beneath ancient darkness, and crumble into dust. It has drifted through stellar nurseries glowing with newborn suns, through clouds of gas, light, and possibility. It carries the echo of cosmic storms, gravitational battles, collisions older than our planet, older than our sun. We are not observing a wandering rock. We are beholding a fragment of another solar system, a remnant of a world not born beneath our sky. A survivor forged under a foreign sun whose light will never touch our world. Webb's deep infrared vision reveals a shape glowing with soft, ghost-like radiance. Its surface is cracked, ancient, uneven, sculpted by violence, eroded by time, and stained by the long, lonely cold of interstellar drift. A faint halo surrounds it, an ethereal shimmer of reflected starlight gathered across ages. Ridges and fractures crisscross its body like the scars of ancient wars. Veins of frozen minerals lace its crust, shining faintly like the preserved memories of a shattered world. Unlike the smooth, enigmatic silhouette of Oumuamua, Three-Eyed Atlas is rugged, raw, unmistakably ancient. A survivor shaped by fire. Shattered by ice. Weathered by the slow patience of eternity. Spectral readings reveal frozen carbon, brittle silicates, exotic ices, and complex organic molecules, the very ingredients capable of giving rise to life. The seeds of creation do not belong to any single star. They drift. They travel. They wander freely through the galaxy, delivered by cosmic refugees like this one. Waiting for a world where life might awaken. When the first clear image appeared, the control room fell silent. No voices. No whispers. Only the stunned, breathless quiet of realization. Every scientist understood instantly. This object was not born in our solar system. It is a message from the deep. A memory from another sun. Three-eyed Atlas has traveled for millions, perhaps billions, of years. And by cosmic chance, it drifted into Webb's golden sight, into the waiting eyes of a species desperate to understand the universe. Beneath its frozen crust, faint warmth persists. Maybe it comes from radioactive decay. Maybe from its slow, uneven tumbling spin. 
maybe from something stranger. Whatever the source, that warmth changes everything. This is not dead. Not silent. Not inert. This is a living relic, still evolving, still whispering the ancient story of its distant home. The Atlas Survey in Hawaii first noticed its subtle movement. A system built to watch for dangers to Earth, instead revealing a doorway into another star system entirely. Its hyperbolic trajectory confirmed what astronomers suspected. This traveler came from beyond the sun's reach. Ground-based telescopes could track its motion. But only Webb could see its soul. The secrets of a forgotten world. Webb captured not only its image, but its chemistry, its temperature, its scars, and its hidden chapters of cosmic history. Its composition suggests it was born in a distant stellar nursery, perhaps orbiting a faint red dwarf billions of years ago. Humanity now holds the clearest view ever of a fragment from another world. Something formed under a sky we will never know. Older than Earth. Older than our oceans. Older than the dreams of the first humans who looked up and wondered what lay beyond. Its glow is tinted red, bronze, and amber. Colors shaped by tholines, radiation-forged organics that coat distant icy worlds. These molecules are believed to be chemical ancestors of life. And now we know, they drift between stars. Freely. Silently. Patiently. Carried by wanderers like three-eyed Atlas. Its slow, uneven spin reveals its fragile nature. It is not one object. It is many, a cluster of fragments fused by gravity frozen into unity by the cold, and held together by time itself. Webb detected faint jets of vapor escaping from its sunlit side. Tiny bursts of evaporating ice. These jets form a luminous veil around it, turning the wanderer into a glowing, ghost-like comet drifting through interstellar night. Every new detail forces us to rethink how worlds form, and how they fall apart. Planets collide. Moons shatter. Stars devour their children. And their pieces scatter into the galaxy, becoming messengers of distant catastrophes. The space between stars is not empty. It is alive with fragments of creation, each carrying a forgotten story. When Webb's data reached Earth, a hush swept across the scientific world. The image was not merely information. It felt like a message. A whisper carried across the interstellar dark. Three-eyed Atlas is neither comet nor asteroid. It is something far more elusive. A wanderer. A survivor. A memory carved in ice and stone. Its chemistry is unlike anything in our solar system. Ratios of carbon, oxygen, nitrogen, all pointing to a birthplace untouched by our sun's influence. Its surface glows with ancient dust irradiated for millions of years. Each grain a tiny archive of cosmic memory. For astrobiologists, this discovery is a revelation. If complex organics travel between stars, then the seeds of life scatter far more widely than we ever dared to imagine. Its fragile structure hints at a violent past, a world shattered in its youth. Its vapor jets blaze softly in the dark, forming a shimmering veil around its fractured body. And somewhere deep within, beneath layers of ancient ice, a faint trace of warmth remains, like the fading heartbeat of a star long gone. Three-eyed Atlas changes everything. It teaches us that worlds can be broken and reborn. It reminds us that every solar system sends pieces of itself into the galaxy, silent ambassadors made of stone, ice, and memory. Perhaps this wanderer was once part of a young planet, torn apart by gravitational storms, ripped from its orbit, and cast into eternity. Now it sails through the void, carrying the final story of its shattered home. Every atom within it has traveled farther than human imagination can stretch. 
And now, through Webb's golden mirrors, those atoms speak to us. This is a meeting of two civilizations, one crafted by nature, one crafted by human hands. Webb's triumph is not only scientific. It is poetic. It is philosophical. It is the fulfillment of a dream older than language, the desire to know what lies beyond the next horizon. Even as three-eyed Atlas drifts away into the endless dark, its image will endure. A silent emblem of connection between stars and souls. Because exploration never ends. In the quiet between suns, every wandering fragment carries a story. And when we learn their stories, we learn more about our own. We are made of the same drifting dust. We are wanderers on the same cosmic voyage. And somewhere beneath another sky, someone, or something, may be looking back.